Hey everyone, welcome to today's day trading update. Today's Wednesday, October 7th. Uh, another green day today, plus $681.50. So what we do today? Uh, a couple things, had a couple pairs trades. One was in the Russell and the NASDAQ. So these two here. Uh, was up a couple hundred bucks, ended up closing out for just a, a small a small winner. Um, and then my second pairs trade was in gold and silver. So these two, I had about a $400 winner, got out, booked over 400 bucks on the first pairs trade, got back in and it just kept going, going, going against me uh, to a point where I just closed it out. So net, net, uh, still a little bit of a winner in both those pairs trades, but not near what they were. And then uh, had a, tried to do a runner in the Dow, uh, took a little loss there. Uh, beyond minus 169 there Disney cut that one pretty uh, pretty short for $50 loss Facebook minus 160 and then my winners uh, Intel Netflix Nike my biggest winner in Tesla and then a small loser in zoom so let's check out what I did here uh, starting with the Dow okay so the Dow uh, was looking like one of the stronger of the indices and so when it started to consolidate above this pivot level, uh, I got long and for whatever reason, I'm not sure if there's some kind of quick news briefing that came out, but the market just kind of flushed. And so it just flushed me out. So I just took a loss, just got out. I wasn't sure if that thing was going to continue further. Didn't want to take the risk. So I just bailed and, and right almost right afterwards, just rallied right back up. But, uh, so anyway, small loss in the Dow in beyond meat. Take a look at Beyond. So Beyond was was really strong all morning. You can see here above yesterday's high, just kind of started consolidating here. So I took a long runner in Beyond. It's also at at all time highs, as you can see by this little bubble here. Uh, and so I was looking for a continuation to the upside and just got flushed out. So I took a little loss on Beyond. Uh, same thing on Disney. Actually, let me put Disney in here. I'll come back to that. Uh, Facebook. So Facebook was weak all morning and I was, I was looking for an area to get short Facebook. And when it, when it bounced, let's see, when it bounced, um, I can't remember which one of these times, but, oh yeah, it was right here. Uh, I tried to get short and then it just kept pushing higher on me. So I just, I just bailed on that. And it did continue to get stronger, so good good exit there. Intel, I had a really nice winner in Intel. Um, uh, started getting long above the pivot here and held all the way up to right here. And I had a really nice profit. And then that when the market flushed, Intel started to flush. And so I ended up just bailing. Took a, took a winner of $144, but I was up several hundred dollars on that one. Netflix uh, was a little bit back and forth, uh, right out of the gate, um, took a loss on Netflix. So it had this push higher, started to consolidate. I tried to get long and it just flushed me out. So it took a loss. Uh, when it pushed back above, let me get back to the right screen. When it pushed back above this pivot, I caught this. And then when it retraced, I caught this as well. So it came back. So I did three trades in Netflix, one loser and two winners. So book 335 there. And then Tesla, my biggest winner, uh, this one was kind of a similar thing. I, I tried to get short initially because Tesla was so weak all morning. When it bounced here, I tried to get short right in this area for a continuation down, but it pushed right back up. So I just cut my losses, got out pretty quick. When it got above, so I was talking about this all morning in the live room. I said if it, it really you know, rejected off of that um, unchanged mark you know it did tesla did not want to go negative on the day and so when it came back up i kept saying if it if it comes up above this pivot starts to consolidate i'll look at that as a long opportunity and what happened is it it came above the pivot and then it flushed back down and as soon as it came back up above again really on this little tiny red bar right there that that's i didn't give it much time to consolidate and and it was good timing because right away this thing just fired up so i held it all the way to that pivot uh, kind of bounced around, came back up above this pivot, consolidated for a couple bars, got in again, 
and and took it all the way up to to yesterday's high. So played Tesla really well, except for the uh, the short I lost on that, but the two longs that I ended up getting in uh, more than covered that, and it ended up being my biggest winner of the day of plus seven sixteen. And then lastly in Zoom, Zoom was interesting. So what happened here is. Zoom was really just kind of consolidating and flat all day long. Hang on a second here. It's freezing up for me. There we go. So in Zoom, we had this big push up, big push down, came back up, and then it just started consolidating. And this was, you know, these are five-minute bars, so that's a good period of time. And so finally I said, okay, this thing did not want to go negative, similar to Tesla, started consolidating. So I was looking for a continuation higher and, and it flushed me out. So I took a loss there. Uh, once it bounced up here and started consolidating again, I got long again and took, took some of this. So I took one loser, one winner, net, net, small loser on the day. Uh, but uh, overall, had a lot of missed opportunities, orders that I had to get that I had in to get filled and I missed by a penny or two. Uh, so still a nice green day of plus $681 and 50 cents. And I don't like to play the hindsight game. I don't like to play the shoulda, coulda, woulda, but had I just gotten filled on a few of those orders on some early morning trades, uh, could have been a really big day, but I will take a green day of 681.50. If you guys have any questions, let me know. Talk to you next, uh, next session, which is tomorrow morning. See you then.